in the ring. And on the stage, returning to MCW, Danny Moe. An interesting and different look, different style from Danny Moe. Not hard to pick out of the lineup with that hair. Oh, but some of the things that she can do in that ring, we got a taste of it. Back at MCW's first pay-per-view, Spring Fever against Vita Von Starr. Wow. But she is going to have some tough competition here tonight at MCW Ladies Night. Danny Moe has certainly become polished in the past year, year and a half, uh, going down to Louisville, Kentucky and 4400 Shepherdsville Road in Louisville at the Davis Arena for OVW training with Al Snow. Making her way up here for MCW Pro Wrestling. Good luck keeping Danny Moe. Subsided and not fired up. What has happened? We have the debuting Trish Adora. I have to apologize. Was that the Lion King I heard? Or was I having a stroke? No, it was. Okay. Trish Adora. Where is she fighting out of, Ricky? Do you know off the top of your head? Off the top of my head, no. One thing I do know, though, she is a former U.S. Army veteran, so she's used to these high-pressure situations, like the one here tonight, making her debut for MCW. What's a high-pressure situation the Army puts you in? Really? <laughs> really? You're asking that one? Nick Papa Giorgio. Not just saying that because it's a cool name. That is your official. You see that? Uh, Danny Moe threw in a mouthpiece. Seen a lot more of that in the sport these days since female wrestlers and, and male wrestlers have been, uh, pardon me, studying up uh, and, and the increase in popularity of mixed martial arts and MMA. We certainly see it in MCW Pro Wrestling with. Tim Spriggs and well, if you don't, you end up looking like Ken Dixon. This is true. But God bless it because you know my stepdad's a dentist, and I wouldn't have had the life I had if people didn't get their teeth knocked out. So keep on swinging. At those keep, on, keep, on throwing, keep on throwing those punches in the face. <laughs> Trisha Dora. And actually, Trisha Dora, this. This young lady, this she's been. People have been begging for Trish to make her way to MCW. I know a lot of a lot of buzz behind this girl. No, she's definitely been there with some of the best. I mean, hell, I think you can go. I think on YouTube they had she had a 60-minute Iron Person match against uh, was it Tony Deppin? Iron Tony Deppin went 60 minutes. Actually, I think it even went into overtime. Now you call this an you call that an iron person match when it's a male and a female, or do you call it like an iron man match? Or an iron, what if it's two women with an iron woman? I guess it would be an iron woman. You know, because this is pro wrestling, folks, and as much as we love it, as much as you guys love it, um, man, the stiff shirts that make the walls and write all the books haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> we try to keep up with the times. <clears throat> Very innovative escape there by Danny Moe. That's what you're going to see from Danny Moe. Some of that lucha influence. He's gone to Mexico, Mexico City, south of the border. In addition to expanding her playbook in OVW, the former developmental territory. For the WWE, where John Cena, Batista, Randy, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, all started. Oh, some of the greats have come out of. Yeah. And Danny Moe, she may be well on her way to be 
to maybe being in, in, in that same list. Roll up. Whoa. Uh, very close two count. Some jabroni named Timmy Baltimore used to go uh, work there. Very talented. Yeah, I, I've, heard, I've heard he's really good on the stick. Yeah. Tragically, I think he passed away to uncover. Passed away after he got bit by a snake. Yeah, I heard. I like the boys. I like the boys at Trisha Door. Wow. Uh, definitely has the confidence behind her. And as we said, uh, the MCB fans have been wanting to see Trisha Door. I feel like Trish has been wanting to be here as well, and she's going to make the most of that opportunity. I got a question, though, what she just did. She just dropped Danny Moe with that knee, right? Mm -hmm. And Danny was down, shoulders down, and instead of going for the cover, she took a moment, did Trisha Door, went and got wrist control again. Should have gone for the cover, in my opinion. Go for that right. cover, if there's a kick out, then grab the wrist, it's right there. Go over the cover. cover, you can always catch that person sleeping. Maybe they expected it was a two right. count, but it turns out it was a three. I mean, it can happen in a split second. Literally, that's... Oh, we've seen it numerous times. But these are things that come with years and years upon years of Getting in that ring, under the bright lights, hearing that bell ring, and leaving everything that you possess in your mind, your body, and your soul on that campus. Trish with those forearms in the corner. Nothing pretty about that, but very effective, I imagine. Doesn't need to be pretty, as long as, as, long as it's effective, as long as it gets you closer to your goal. And the goal, of course, is a victory here in front of the MCW faithful at the RJ Meyer Arena, the cradle. Two count, says Nick Papa Georgia. I love that name. I do. <laughs> you ever seen uh, Vegas Vacation? I have not. Papa Georgia. I've heard that, but I have not seen it. I won't spoil the fun for the MCW fans. Uh, what are we about to see? I don't like this. What Trish has in mind here. What is going on? Wow, I thought she was just going to drop oh her my. neck. What is this? She's just stretching her every way that she can. Well, Trisha, Trisha Dora is the aggressor here. Wow, I don't know. Uh-oh. Dina yeah. trying to fight her way out. That was very impressive. One of the most innovative submission maneuvers I have seen in a long time. Or leg hook this time. You can definitely, definitely see why Trish has got that buzz to her name mm -hmm. when you pull out some offense like that. You can also definitely see the kick out by Danny Moe getting closer and closer to that three count. Maybe she's taking that, that little rest. You very, very, very smart to get that kick in there, that insecurity. You're saying that little rest, that extra few milliseconds? That, that extra second to get to recover, get your senses back. I think, like, I feel like, and I, I, you know, I can't disagree with that, and I feel like there is some truth to it. Um, it's just, uh, I think in there... It's just, it's just like when you're sleeping. You want to get that extra five minutes of sleep. Right. She wants to get that extra recovery in there. And when you're pinned, it's like having sleep paralysis. As long as, long as you get your shoulder off the mat by the, before the count of three, then you're good. But those forearms, look at that. They're just offering themselves up to each other. Go ahead, hit me. See how tough you are. Oh, no offense. I think this is the dumbest thing a pro wrestler can do. Offer your face to get knocked out. And this isn't a slight on these athletes right now at all. Wow, look at that Trisha Dora. Blocking. That's what you should be doing. The goal of a... Oh, oh wow. wow. Big drop kick. To the midsection. Turning Trish inside out. Cover. Both legs up. Two. Wow. Nick taking that extra second to get over there to get in a position may have been exactly what Trish needed. Don't call him Nick. You call him Nick Papa Giorgio. Papa Giorgio. No, Nick Papa Giorgio. The whole thing. Nick Papa Giorgio. This MCW audience coming alive. 
This is the most raucous we have heard them the entire evening. Well, they know that they're a part of history for MCW. MCW's first all-female event. And so far, they've been killing it out there. Oh, wow. Those wild swings. Looking, looking, to, the looking to take the head off of their opponent. Oh! The kick. I love it. I, oh. I love the confidence. I love... Look at that. He, she's confident that this one's over. Two. Oh, Danny barely getting that shoulder up. As you said, Bren, Trish, she has this, this confidence about her that's been very endearing to the MCW fans. She, uh, she has a offense that has malice aforethought, and it's palpable. Like, you can sense she is there to do damage. And thank, thank, just thank, you for, with it. thank you for explaining that. He used a lot of big words. <laughs> um, Danny with those short elbows trying to get out of that. Oh, no. She does. Cover. Whoa. Can't, I mean, can't get out of that. You're stacked, Ricky. You have your hips, everything from the waist down up over your head, stacked. Having to expend so much more energy to get out of a pinning predicament like that. Have you ever, like, fallen somewhere, folded in half, trying to breathe is impossible. Oh, Danny walking oh the God. top rope. Wow. Big crossbody to Trisha Dora. And it looks like Trisha was trying to think something midair and, and jumped into it. Unfortunately, the cover. Oh, oh ref. Wow. Trish with just instinct rolling to those ropes and very smart with Trish not having to expel that much energy reaching for those ropes and no shame in that game uh, de definitely not you do whatever you need to to save yourself whether it be kicking out expelling that energy just touching the ropes any way any way that you can save yourself in a matchup like this you know I feel like I'd be remiss not to say, you know, when they were exchanging those punches out, or those forearms, I was criticizing. Oh, the stalling German with the bridge. Woof, kick it out, act two. Uh, you know, but like, who am I to say? You know, these are two They're gladiators <laughs> in there, playing it on the line, I'm going, oh, that's, you know, well, don't do that. Like. Yeah, they're tougher than we are. Yeah, I'm not getting in there and doing it. So, honey, if you wanna. Oh, what a lariat! Got her! Trish Adora with the lariat Tudman. Who? Oh. Took the head off of Danny Moe. Is that what it's called? That's what she calls it. I freaking love that. I, I mean, listen to the ovation. Damn McDevitt. Dennis, I hope we have not seen the light.